Today, the U.S. Supreme Court handed down a major decision in a case involving the city of Boston, the Christian flag, and freedom of speech. We covered the case closely here on Prime earlier this year. A private group applied to fly the flag on a city hall flagpole, but was turned away because of its religious message. Today, the court said that move was unconstitutional. Our Devin Dwyer covers the court and joins us now for more on what this all means. Hey, Devin. Lindsay, the decision written by Justice Stephen Breyer was unanimous. The Supreme Court ruled that the city of Boston violated the First Amendment when it denied the request of a private group called Camp Constitution to fly the Christian flag from one of the city hall flagpoles on Constitution Day. Here's an image of that flag. It's a white banner with a little red cross in the corner. It's non-denominational. For more than a dozen years, the city uh, had allowed private groups of all kinds to fly flags on its flagpoles in honor of a special event or commemoration. More than 280 applications were approved uh, over those years, but only one was rejected, and that was this flag, the Christian flag by Camp Constitution. The city argued uh, that by flying that flag on its flagpole, it would amount to a violation violation of separation of church and state, illegal government speech. But the Supreme Court disagreed unanimously, saying that the city's flagpole is effectively a public forum, and you can't censor in public forum. Here's what Justice Breyer said in his opinion. He said, on balance, Boston did not make raising and flying private groups' flags a form of government speech. That means, in turn, that Boston's refusal to let Camp Constitution raise their flag based on its religious viewpoint abridged their freedom of speech. Now, this decision is being celebrated uh, by religious conservatives and civil rights groups like the ACLU, which had sided uh, with Camp Constitution in this case. It could lead to more free displays of religious symbols and expressions in public forums on government property. But the court also made clear, Lindsay, that those flagpoles at City Hall don't have to be public forums and that the city of Boston could change its policies if it so chooses. And it may do just that. Lindsay. All right. We'll be keeping an eye on that. Devin, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.